Hello there, everyone. This is Texcoin. One more interesting posting to share. And this is going to be a 1995D Denver Mint US quarter. 25 cents. Now, can you see any, any difference between these this two quarters? They are both 1995D, but there's a difference, right? Very obvious difference. Yes. See this depression right here? That's what we have on this 1995 Denver Mint U.S. quarter. And of course, I like putting your normal U.S. quarter so we can compare. Now that we see that and we know what we're going to be talking about, let me get you a close-up view of the upper side of a U.S. quarter and on the reverse. Okay, because on the reverse, we have the same type of markings. And it's not only the depression. The depression got my attention, but the markings that are left minted or printed on the reverse are both similar, but once almost on the edge. And as you saw in the upverse, it's almost behind the hair here, right? See that? And on the reverse is going to be Almost by the edge here, by the rim. But let me show you. And what caught my eye was the markings that it's got inside the depression. It's not your plain planchet. It's got like little squares, markings on it. A little net type. Now, I don't know what type of gloves they use at the Mint or whatever kind of um, nets or something that they might have. But this looks pretty neat. Sort of like a little tiny squares on them. Let me get a close-up view of it. See if I can get any closer. Here we go. See little markings on there? They're real small squares. Kind of like a net. For an object, cloth, mint, error. See, because we can see it all the way down here. But let me show you the reverse. Now pay attention where this one's at, okay? And the reverse, okay, it's supposed to be about right there, right? If you have an indent, so it's supposed to be about right here, right? Well, we have it down here. See this one here? Almost the same type of markings, but on the reverse. See the square? Tiny little squares. Markings that are left there that are imprinted on the planchet and it's almost by the edge of the rim That's what made it interesting Something was placed or maybe was caught on the bottom and On the top of the planchet because there's nothing on the rim. You can see the indent See the quarter But the intent here, and then we just go slightly over, and this one's right on the edge. That to me was very interesting.
And of course, that's why I like sharing this interesting type of mint errors that are out there on our on our U.S. currency. And that's what make this uh, make this quarter really nice and different. Send me a comment, guys. See what you guys think. Donna, thank you very much for your comment. Janice, Jean, Terry, thank you very much for your comment. Tetra, thank you very much. And of course, thank you all very much for subscribing to my channel. Don't forget to push the like button and the bell for notification. And there's another one that you might be looking for. Of course, not this dent, but markings like this that might be foreign objects on the mint, on the die, or cloth type mint errors. Y'all be safe, everybody. Take care. Bye-bye.